Okay, in this part two of our background piece, I'm going to now show you how to lay in a background to a specific area on your page, as opposed to laying in this background that tiles on the page properties here. We know that each of these boxes are kind of blocking content from one location to the other area. So these are blocked areas. And we really haven't, in terms of our design level here in the Brains class, played with a lot of writing of CSS rules or manipulating entire chunks of information. But we're going to go ahead and do that now, just to get a little taste of it. Each of these boxes is called a div, or we can think of it as a division or a block. And they are wrapped around some type of content. The advantage of doing this is that then we can later on learn how to move these blocks around on our page and come up with much more interesting types of designs. But for our quick tutorial here, we are simply going to learn how to write a rule for a div as well as apply an image to the background. Now if I take a look down here in my code line, I can see that that is my banner. Now also I take a look over here in terms of my list of CSS styles that I already have going and notice that I do not have anything called banner. More importantly, all of my divs are designated by a pound sign here. And so I can see that my wrapper has a rule, and indeed we did that earlier. It's got the white background rule, but I do not have any kind of rule going for my banner here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new rule. I have clicked and selected my banner. I'm going to come over here to my CSS panel, and I'm going to choose the new CSS rule icon. It's the little plus guy. And notice here that I've got these pieces, these are descendant selectors. I don't really want the wrapper to, to take on any kind of attributes. I want the banner to kind of be its own rule so I can apply spe very specific elements just to that banner. So I'm going to make sure that just says banner. I'm going to click OK. And now I know that the box already exists because it's sitting out here, but I can also now come in and do a background for that box, like including a color. Um, let me just go ahead and very quickly do a background color. That is pretty ugly. I'm going to change that back to a light gray. It doesn't really matter if I change it like back to light gray or not, or even take the color away altogether. I'm going to apply an image on top of that, and I'm going to choose an image that I've already, oh, this is good. I'm going to choose this little striped image and click OK and OK. And there is how I can lay in an image in the background of a division box.